His department refused to reveal these investigations to the public. They show a Boleyn police lieutenant was on paid leave for one incident when he got detained by Albuquerque police for another. In this KRQE investigation, News 13's Liz Amitri uncovers the details of what happened and why the city tried to keep it a secret. It all started with a tip from a citizen asking us to find out what was going on at the Boleyn Police Department. A firearms instructor accidentally fired his gun in the police station, then days later is at the center of an Albuquerque Police Department investigation. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Clearing up what exactly happened is usually as simple as a public records request. The largest police department in the state, APD, routinely releases its internal affairs investigations, revealing how how an officer violated department policies and was disciplined. But the city of Belen kept it under wraps. Here's Mayor Jara Cordova. And historically, we have not released personnel information. We're very careful about that uh, so that we don't run into any legal liabilities or risk. KRQE eventually obtained the public records from the New Mexico Law Enforcement Academy instead. And now that we have the details, the city is speaking to the public, including the officer himself, who's since been promoted from lieutenant to deputy chief. They want to see that we're transparent. Um, there's nothing to hide. Last July, Natividad, the department's firearms instructor, accidentally shot his gun in the police station, hitting a filing cabinet. In violation of department policies on how to handle weapons in the police station, Natividad says he was trying out a kit to convert a pistol to a carbine rifle when he accidentally squeezed the trigger. He says he took responsibility for what happened. Oh, immediately. Immediately, um, you know, there's nobody else to blame but me. The chief suspended him for one day, but while on paid leave before that punishment came down, the firearms instructor faced questions again that week about another incident involving his gun. I grabbed my gun with my right hand, brought it up. APD handcuffed and detained the then lieutenant during an aggravated assault investigation. It stemmed from a heated dispute over a parking space on Osuna near Jefferson. Natividad had pulled into a no parking zone and a business owner told him to move. He did, but he also rolled down his window and told the man not to be so rude. The way he approached me, you know, they market, you know, we don't take market. You know what I mean? Natividad got out of his car. As he continued to go back to his vehicle several times, um, it just you know heightened my awareness of, of me possibly being injured or hurt. Investigators say Natividad, who was off duty, identified himself as an officer and grabbed his holstered gun and badge. And put it on my seat. That was it. The business owner accused the lieutenant of pointing the gun at him, but investigators concluded there was no evidence to support that and he didn't break any laws. He did, however, violate more of Valen's city and police department policies. The investigation found his behavior was reminiscent of the old school police mentality with comments like this. Once he started believing me and you know, talking down to me, I'm not going to take that. Name calling does not justify a police action, and a reasonable officer would have avoided conflict, the investigation stated. Plus, it said he shouldn't have been representing himself as an officer anyway because he was off duty in another city and on leave. And finally, the firearms instructor's qualification to use the gun he displayed that day was expired, which is a liability for the city of Blend. Thinking about what happened that day, could things have been done differently? Most definitely. Um, could I have rolled up my window? Could I have driven further to a different parking spot to avoid the whole encounter uh, as a whole? Correct. Discipline included a 10-day suspension, a one-year suspension as firearms instructor, and more training on ethics and de-escalation. I owned up to my mistake, and you know, I took my punishment. I served it, and, and we move on. That's part of life. Lise Mitri, KRQE Investigates. Natividad was promoted to deputy chief at the end of March. He's been with the department since 2007 and did not have any past disciplinary cases in his file, according to the Internal Affairs investigation.